original music video is normally reserved to musicians with big record label budgets behind them. That didn't stop my next guest from getting one made. Dennis Fernando successfully crowdfunded his video Relentless, which is set in Hackney, and now he wants to do the same for his debut album. Well, we'll hear from him in just a moment, but first, let's take a look at the clip. joins me now. Thanks so much for joining us at this lunchtime on London Live News. Thank you. Uh, how easy was it to crowdfund for a music video? It was actually surprisingly very easy in the sense that I think in, now people want an experience. They, music is so, in a sense, so re readily available thanks to YouTube and Spotify. They're looking for an experience and the experience of being able to help an artist do something this ambitious I think meant really captured the imagination and people were really quite up for it, which I was absolutely delighted by. I mean, give us an idea of how much it would cost to put on something like this. It, 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 most of us don't have a sort of a, a, a starting point. I mean, th this this video costs somewhere in the region between two and a half, two two to two and a half thousand pounds, which I, money I personally just don't have to make this. I had the idea for doing this and spoke to an amazing director, Billy London, who basically said, if you want to do that, you you know, if you want to get a guy in a in a mannequin and <laughs> and all that run around Hackney, it's going to cost you a lot of money. But the whole crowdfunding thing has meant that if you're a DIY artist, you actually are able to do stuff like this. Mm. And uh, talk me through. We can see the images of the video here. Talk me through what we can see. What is the, presumably there's a political message in this? Yeah, definitely. I mean, there's sort of people have said there's sort of echoes of what's being, uh, what's happening to refugees, what's happening to homeless people at the moment. The idea of people being invisible, being victimised, and bystanders actually being able to make a difference, like actually stand up and and um, ch challenge or change the status quo. That's kind of the the message. And the idea of being relentless is just keep going. What happens to the mannequin at the end? even when it seems like it's the end, rebuild and uh, carry on. And, and how did you select the people to actually uh, feature in the video? So some of them were professional actors. The guy in, in the mannequin outfit, he, he's actually, he can't see and he can't breathe. He had a, a breathing tube in order to do that. So we needed to get in someone who was professional in order to be able to deal with that. But the others were people who'd taken part in the crowd front, um, friends of mine, um, a whole kind of different... Um, lovely gang of people actually who came together and were willing to do that at seven in the morning on a Sunday uh, in February when it was freezing yeah. so I was really grateful to them for that. And how long did it take you to crowdfund for that video? It actually took about two months um, to crowdfund and it was sort of it was a little bit being relentless in terms of actually talking to people about it telling them about the idea but what was amazing was um, for a track that no one had seen that video for um, it was just a concept in my head. They just heard the, the, the audio um, and people really were invigorated and excited about the idea of it and therefore were willing to participate in it, which was just amazing mm. for me. I mean, your first single, you know, picked up in National Press, Alan Titchmarsh Show, Radio 3. How was that experience? How did that help sort of launch your profile? I mean, that was an absolutely amazing experience. I, I wrote that on a laptop um, in my bedroom. Um, and then to get it on Alan Titchmarsh on BBC Radio 2 and on Radio 3 was just an absolute dream come true. And to, to know that there was sort of a national profile for that um, really, you know, it was, it was just beyond what I'd imagined or could have possibly have conceptualised of happening to a track like that. So it just really gave me confidence to think if you do have something you think is good and you, you push it, it, it can go far and, and just to keep doing that really. Mm. And the success of this crowdfunding campaign has given you a taste uh, for it moving forward. Do you want to explain a bit more? Yeah, so I've got a crowdfund at the moment for my debut album. Um, if people are interested in that, they can see about it at redcablesunday.com. Um, and basically the idea is to get sort of an entire orchestra on it, strings on it, make it as ambitious as possible um, so that, again, it, it um, really, uh, it, you know, it's a really creative idea and if, that people get, can get involved in. And very quickly, if people want to get involved, find out more about this, where can they do so? So I'm on Twitter, Red Cable Sunday. Um, my uh, website is redcablesunday.com. Same on um, Facebook and SoundCloud. Brilliant. Dennis, thank you so much for joining us. And best of luck. Must keep us up to date uh, with what you get up to with your crowdfunding ventures in the future. Thank you very much. <laughs>